Anyway, House Bill uh, 4110 is an adjustment to our earned income tax credit. Currently, those who qualify and file their taxes receive 8% of the federal credit. Under House Bill 4110, families with young children under three years old will receive 11% of the federal tax credit. This ask will cost about $10 million for the biennium, and this bill will assist about 40,000 Oregonians. I want you to, to imagine a time when you were struggling to get by. You're working two jobs at full time, you're taking night classes to further your career, and you may have just had a child. You've got to buy a car seat now just so you can get the little kid home from the hospital. A safe and reliable car seat is about $130 on average. When you're making ends meet, that is a lot of money. It's just one example that I could think of of how a little extra money could make a big difference to struggling families. So how does the state help in a way that's efficient without inventing an entirely new program? That's where the earned income tax credit comes in. This tax credit actually started as a federal economic growth policy years, uh, 40 years ago, and it's paid in as a tax refund check, which in essence allows the recipients control over more of their hard-earned dollars. <clears throat> Excuse me. Most of the taxpayers shop in their local communities, so the earned income tax credit money really encourages local economic growth. That's why this credit, it helps people work their way out of poverty and is a tremendous economic development tool. It's a proven policy that can improve life for hardworking, lower income Oregonians. It encourages and rewards work. It incents people to leave public assistance and remain employed and encourages people to increase the work hours to take advantage of the ITC. Although it would be wonderful to increase this uh, tax credit for all eligible taxpayers, our resources are limited. That's why this bill has been crafted to benefit families with children under the age of three, those whose needs are the greatest. Oregon has many tax credits, too many to count sometimes, I'm sure you would agree. However, I challenge you to think of another tax credit that helps people in poverty work their way out of poverty as well as this tax credit. In closing, I'd like to remind you of the famous Garrison Keillor phrase, welcome to Lake Wobegon, where all the women are strong, all the men are good looking, and all the children are above average. <clears throat> I can't guarantee we'll be creating a Lake Wobegon today, but the earned income tax credit has been proven to help those people build a better life. This strategy focuses our limited resources for those who are in the greatest need. This tax credit actually works. The data is there. And I urge you, and I'm hoping for strong bipartisan support for House Bill 4110. Thank you.